In this video, we'll break down the exact path a call takes from Teams to the PSTN using direct routing and an SBC, Session Border Control. Welcome to Technically Speaking, where we help you increase your income through tech. Okay, so let's say you're in Teams and you dial your client's number, something like 713-555-1234. Before that number goes anywhere, Teams applies a dial plan. That just means it converts what you typed into a standard global format called E-164. So your number comes something like this, at a country code, plus one, 713-555-1234. And plus one is our country code. All right, the United States country code, a US country code. <laughs> now, next up, we have the voice routing policy. This is like a permission slip that tells teams, hey, you're allowed to make calls using only these specific paths. Now that leads to the voice route, which checks the number that you dialed against some type of pattern, like does this match a US number? And if it does, we move on. Once we match a route, we hit the PSTN usage layer. Think of this as a bridge that connects the world of teams to your SBC your session border control. Now that we're in the SBC, starting with the signaling group, and in this case, one called SIP Microsoft, this is where Teams hands off the call into your infrastructure. Okay? Next, the transformation table steps in. It might clean up the number, maybe remove the plus sign or add a prefix. Then we enter the call routing table. This is the brain of the SBC. It decides where to send the call next by matching the dial number against pattern rules. Now each pattern is linked to a specific signaling group. And that group points to a server table entry. Now, this final lookup tells the SBC exactly which IP address or host name to use. So whether that's, you know, your carrier, SIP trunk, or maybe even some internal system like CallMank. Okay. Now, let's just break down these three key parts here in the SBC. This call routing table, signaling group, and server table. Now, let's start with the call routing table. Think of this like a traffic directory. It looks at the number you dial and decides which direction to send the call. Next, the signaling group. Think of this like a pre-built road. It's a defined connection that carries the call to the right destination, like to your phone provider or an on-prem phone system like CallMan. And then finally, the server table. This is where the SBC gets the actual address. It tells the SBC exactly where to send the call, like a specific IP or host name, okay? And finally, the call is sent out to the PSTN, the public telephone network. The phone on the other end rings and your call is complete. Now, for my engineers in SIP terms, when the call party answers the phone, the SBC or carrier sends a 200 OK SIP message back to the call. That means the call is connected, you can start talking now. Then the media, which is the voice and audio, starts flowing between both parties. This entire process from dial plan to PSTN happens in seconds. It's the magic of direct routing and proper voice engineering. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and check out more videos on Teams Voice Infrastructure.